Hello, hello, and welcome to Coffee Craft, where everything works right when you press the correct button. <laughs> it's been, yes, it's been that kind of day. Uh, so, <clears throat> why, why not do something, uh, I don't know, something a little fun. As you can tell by the title, I put down bees' knees. Uh, I'm thinking of taking these two beehive, or bees' nests that I have right now, and making a couple of small temporary farms in the basement with the objective to get enough honeycomb to make the hives for for a larger production system and uh and to and, and to and to start breeding up the bees so that when the time comes uh and, and we decide where the larger farm is going to go. We'll have the bees and the bees hives. I always forget that the nests are the ones that spawn naturally. The hives are the ones that you make. For whatever reason, I have trouble remembering that. I don't know. Um, so I guess my, my, my one question is, like, this guy, because of a data pack we're using from uh, Voodoo Beard, uh mc.voodoobeard.net I think um, where it adds the the <laughs> the useful information of how many bees and what honey level a particular nest or hive has which is super helpful um, I yeah I've already forgotten the rest of what I was going to say anyway uh, so I'm going to need these guys. I'm going to need some flowers. I'm going to need some dirt. And I, I'm just, this is, this is nothing, nothing huge. This is just going to be a small, a small scale farm to get the resources needed to really crank something, something better into production. Uh, at least that is the, that is the, that's the hope. That's the goal. Well, we'll, we'll see. Uh, I'm going to have to steal some hoppers from my other project box, although I don't think I'm going to need many more hoppers for, uh, for what's next. At least over at the uh, mob farm. Words. They'll get there eventually. And if I have time, I may get these guys into a temporary farm as well with the same goal. Uh, I'm trying to remember what it takes to, to breed foxes. I think it's... I'm pretty sure it's the sweet berries that you do that with. Um, and that way I can get a bunch of foxes bred up. So that way when we decide where to put the sweet berry farm, we'll have a bunch of foxes and a bunch of sweet berries already ready and we can just move them in there so my goal for today is a couple of small little starter farms down here in this unused space may have some what uh oh no i i got like 19 hoppers in here and I can always go run to the iron. Oh, that's the other thing I need to do. I need to finish figuring out how big this room is going to be so I can get my micro furnace array set up uh, and build the proper furnace array in the, or at least a temporary version of it down there uh, at some point. Uh... <laughs> Actually, one of, one of the interesting things that I didn't know is that I wanted to talk with the group about is we're at the industrial scale bee farms. Yeah, micro. It'll hello beach duck. Yeah, my, micro is only gonna have uh, it, it's it, it, two two furnaces, lava. I'm not gonna go all all. Uh, yeah. Anyway, sorry, train of thought. It went that way. Uh. <laughs> I'd wild away the hours. 
who's conferring with the flowers. Uh, if if I only had a brain. All right. Um. I don't even know where I was going with any of that. <laughs> so it's going to be like that. All right. Um. So anyway, I, I, I want to get a couple of small starter. Oh, oh, oh. Now I remember where I was going with that. The bee farms, when we get the, the large scale honey and honeycomb farms. Yes, I, I, I need to retexture the bee rallus skin so that way they have hard hats because they're industrial bees. Or worker bees. Ooh, I was only joking. I should probably do that. Um... <laughs> Uh, you actually want to build those farms in the nether or in the end. Because weather and time of day will impact the rates of your farm. And so if it's raining, even if they're in a, I don't know, well-lit mountain cave, if it's raining, the bees won't do anything. If it's nighttime, the bees won't do anything, and there's nothing you can do to change that. But if you build the bee farm in the nether, or in the end, then they'll work 24-7. So, that's a thought. Um, I was also kind of thinking that we might want to do something like what Pixel Rifts did on in one of the earlier survival guide things where we um, figure out whatever the maximum number of ender dragon created portals are go kill the ender dragon that many times and that way and then just build like a really nice zone of uh you know uh, a ring connecting all the portals a walkway so that way it's easy to get into and safe um, and that kind of deal. And then maybe figure out, like, I don't know, carpet the, carpet the stupid island so you don't have to worry about the Enderman unless you go somewhere else. I've also thought about doing one of those industrial Enderman farms, but, uh, that, that might not happen anytime soon. That's going to depend a lot on, uh, how I'm feeling. Alright, let's, uh, let's get some stuff together. I'm not sure if I'm going to need the wool or not. Uh, I am going to need, though, stuff that's not in any of these boxes. Because um, I you know, glanced around trying to get an understanding of how the different mechanics work. Because up until now, I mean, the bees have been in the game since, what, 1.15? Yeah, 1.15. And I have never played with the bees. I've never done. I've never done a bee farm of any size or shape. Uh, I've not. I've not built anything like that. And I, and I apparently can't talk and figure out what it was I was looking for in the first place. Oh, um, power drills. Power drills. Power drills. If I were me. Maybe I need to get a storage thingy going. That's going to be the heads. Power drills. There we go. Storage thingy. Did I just say storage thingy? I've been hanging around Reyes too long. That This is your fault, Reyes. I just want you to know that. And I actually do need carpet. <laughs> no! <laughs> no, no, th this is not all right. Th th this is not all right. I need to get my backpack together, too. I, I, I think once I get an actual proper, uh, less haphazard setup of shulker boxes and, an ender and a proper ender chest, I, I think I'll be feeling a little bit better, like... That bed should really be in my backpack, my nether boots, 
and golden chest plate should be in my backpack. Uh, the shield and flint and steel. Uh, yeah, for now. Uh, should also have the spare food in there too. Because I'm running low on stakes. I gotta do something about that. Um, why did I have that out? Oh, because I needed a hopper minecart. Um, iron. How many times I'm gonna. <laughs> how many times am I gonna walk back and forth uh, looking for various things that I probably should have gotten ahead of time? Never mind, don't answer that. I got three iron on me. Twelve? You, you, you think it's only going to be twelve? How very optimistic of you. Uh. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to steal this minecart and hopper from this farm setup. Uh, which, I do, I do need to get that going too. I don't know about that many. Like, like alright. Um, oh, uh, do I not? I thought I had some, gl no, not, not glass panes. I thought I had, oh, <laughs> there's where my iron went. <laughs> oh, I, I smell coffee brewing. Maybe that'll help. Jeffa tried to help earlier. It was relaxing, but not necessarily helpful. <laughs> oh no, I've already done more than two trips. <laughs> Alright, uh... That's not what I wanted. That's what I wanted. So I can get a hopper minecart. I need... I need some glass blocks. That was the other thing I needed up here. glass blocks. Did, did I? No. Uh, mm. I mean, I totally have some glass blocks. Because what I want to do is I want to make sure that I keep the bees contained. Uh, I also need... the thing. That bee's nest only has one bee. That one has three. Actually, okay, alright, alright. I'll set that up. Um, alright, I'll get to that in just a minute. I need... to figure out what I am doing. Do we need any stone? 
<laughs> this seems to be one of those things that we end up with an overabundance of again. Uh, maybe we need to get a couple of masons so that way we can trade some of this off. <laughs> All right. Uh, all right. I I was originally going to set these up in two different sections, but uh, I think one of the problems I'm going to run into is I don't have enough bees to fully stock up. Um, to fully stock up... Uh, with the the nests that I have right now anyway so let me try to get one of each farm in this in an area big enough that I can start breeding them up and we'll st oh um I'll have to do something about that soon too Alright, one step at a time. I'm going to start with the farm for uh, why, am I, why am I acting like that's the only dirt that I have? I would like to I would like to secure a larger area. There appears to be a zombie in the walls. Alright. <clears throat> I'm going to get one honeycomb farm and one honey bottle farm. And I'm going to need a lot more glass for that for the honey bottle farm. Uh... Yeah, especially since I need that to uh, secure them. Matter of fact, I don't I don't have enough glass to secure them anyway. So I guess I'm just gonna have to um Oh well, this is just temporary. I'm gonna tear it up soon anyway. Or as soon as we get a proper uh, a proper setup. Maybe I do want to put an iron door, because if Arcadius ever shows up to uh, to gather stuff out of the farm, I run the risk of all the all the bees getting let out because uh, somebody left a door open. And bees are dumb. Oh, I did not intend to cover up that much light, but all right. How many? No, because Rayest wants candles. You know how you get candles? With honey farms. <laughs> All right. So I want. Okay, that that is fair. Uh, so the hive is going to go on this hopper. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to have this observer... Hang on, i got to go get my wrench. Should be in here. He says with some trepidation. Oh, I got to get that going too. All I've got is mending and I'm breaking. I may, I may end up just going to uh, the village people and getting, um, getting some mending and I'm getting a mending and I'm breaking book, and then taking my chances on the table. All right. So that guy is going to face that way. 
that guy is going to face that way. Uh, oh, I need a new block. Oh wait, no, I, I should be able to use a brick. Or wool. Gonna need wool. Uh, oh, I need a dispenser. Fortunately, we got more than enough bows to make dispensers with. <laughs> I noticed somebody set up a little extra storage to make uh, to make that happen too. All right. Um, let's. Uh, Okay, and you are facing down. I'm going to need a flower. And we'll get that guy there. Get our shears in there. I'll fill that up with more later. Uh, oh, and I need a powered rail on top of that. So... The dispenser will work the shears every time this goes up a honey level. So right now it is at honey level zero. Uh, so the bee goes in, bumps it up to honey level one. This observer sees the change, fires. This observer sees that this observer is fired and fires, powering that block, triggering an update to that powered rail, which powers this guy. The shears will, this guy will fire, but the shears will, will only work and, uh, and take and harvest the honeycomb when, uh, when, uh, when it can actually, uh, bloody oath. Oh, that's why he used regular rail for that, isn't it? Let me go get some regular rail. Um. So you, uh, you can power you can power it, and it won't waste the shears. Is what I'm basically getting at. What did I come here for? Regular rails. my brain because one of the problems with uh, oh how did he do that Or is it because he put down a beehive, not a bee's nest? That might have been because he put down a beehive instead of a bee's nest. Okay. Well, I'll revisit that later. Uh, this just means that I'm probably going to end up losing some... Uh, losing some honeycomb out of this. Because when that fires, it's going to shear three honeycomb um but the hopper is only going to pick up one of those i guess i can cut down a little bit on this if i do that right there and that right there that way it's got a better chance of picking up some of the extras the only thing it won't pick up is ones that fall on this square here, this square here. But, fine. So be it. Alright. Uh, I also wanted the, uh, the, the honey bottle farm for which I have 
more. <laughs> no, well, I mean, yes, that is what I ended up doing, but I try not to make that my go-to solution. More than I already have. <laughs> um... What did I come back here for? Oh, because I need to make a composter. Goodness. Uh... My brain... in my inventory already. Uh, oh, I'm gonna need, uh, I'm gonna need, uh, quartz for the comparator. Quartz for the comparator. And name tags to silence you two. <laughs> At least I got a little bit of quartz. We'll see if that's enough for that. I'm sure I'm forgetting something. It's only, what, trip number five? Uh. Yeah, the, these things are kind of slow. Uh, Il Mango mathed out the efficiency of various farms, and you want no... You want at least... You want three bees per hive in the farms. And, uh, yeah. All right, uh, sorry. Let's, uh, let's get this next one going. I hear the bee. Will, will you get out of the hive? Oh, because it's two in the morning, and he won't work. <laughs> oh, that's right, that's right, that's right. I need, I need more space. Hive is going to go here. Uh, I'll get to that in just a second. Um, I need... something to uh, to get that composter up. What kind of expendable vegetation do I have? Nether blocks. I gotta do this before the bees wake up and start flying around. One of them will fly out the window. I'm sure of it. All right. Uh, I need to get this up to a power level of five. And you'll see why in a minute. One, two, four, five. The hive is going to go there. That's going to go there. Which will power that block. Which will power that powered rail. No. Yes. No. 
nothing out of that thought. I need the dispenser with the glass bottles. Facing down. Because I want this to power only when it reaches a power level of 5. So by doing that, that's what, uh, there he is. Get to work. Actually, that might just be it. That might that might be all I need to do. Find out in a minute. Oh! <laughs> I got everything off by one again. some glass bottles though. like I thought it would. Because I'm trying, basically I'm trying to avoid just doing a string of redstone out by five. Um, but that, that doesn't appear to be, that doesn't appear to be working. At least not as intended. that is at honey level five which is powering that which is turning that off which um, I might have Let me go get some glass bottles and then I can figure this out. And then I can start breeding those guys up. I need, I need glass. Uh, do, do we have, oh, I need emeralds if I'm going to do that. Hmm. No, I've already looked through all these. Of course I don't have any glass in here. What I need is... I could just bake up a stack of sand. I'll keep pilfering lava buckets until I uh, run short and then get mad that I don't have any lava left. <laughs> I feel like I'm missing a bucket there too. I wonder if that's the one I was missing. <laughs> oh. 
All right. While I am waiting for that, uh, I am <laughs> can't believe I'm saying this. I I'm going to go pick flowers. Because I need flowers to breed the bees. Wait, why am I going to pick flowers? We, we got the iron farm with all the poppies. Where, where's all the poppies from the iron farm? Or did they already get tossed into a composter? Hmm. That does look like an interesting cave, too. Might have to go check that out. Hi, guys. enough to trade glass. You're not leveled up enough to trade glass. Alright, we'll get to you guys soon enough, soon enough. Poppies, poppies, poppies. I think this is the first time I've actually wanted poppies. This is definitely not the first time that my inventory has been this full. <laughs> oh. Alright, I got all the poppies out. Did hear one of those guys go, right? Alright, those guys seem to be okay. Farmer John's over there doing his thing. I am experiencing kinetic energy. Quite the stack of villagers. <laughs> Alright. Oh, I know what I wanted. No, oh, just one. sitting there like, I'm, all right, I'm going to run through the field and start picking all the flowers. When Why would I do that? What's the one thing the iron farm produces that we're always trying to get rid of? Flowers. That is still fun. I like that. All right. Uh, let's see if I can actually focus... Sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean to be that kind of that funny. All right. Let's get our box of flowers. I think I'm just going to... Keep these in here. Why the random slab? Ah, uh, no. Alright, um... Uh, I need to level 
three. I hear the bees. <laughs> Did I just miss you? Come on, guys. I, ju I just want a couple more bees. Oh, it's a little baby bee. Can I get you to grow up faster? There we go. Come on. Grow up. Grow up. Ah. Fine. Be like that. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to do that. I mean, I kind of did, but I didn't really. Alright, so that gives me two bees for that nest and three for this one. So far, so good. I need to... I need to get the, uh, I need to get the glass bottles going. do the next part one of a couple of different ways. You can do it like I got here, where you fill up this evenly with glass bottles. And that way, when it tries to retract the honey bottle, it can't, and so it ejects it over that hopper. Um, need a button. No. Oh. Because, uh... There we go. Alright, so maybe that will work. I'm not sure I like the torch tower idea, but eh. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll see if I can't come up with something a little more compact between now and then. Moving, uh, moving redstone signals up is not, is not the easiest. So, I'll get some more glass bottles as soon as that's done cooking. I need to go grab my blocks of iron so I can get a couple more shears. And, oh, eh, the whole reason why I grabbed the, the grass block. Because I just, I don't like that being uh, plain dirt. No good reason, just because I don't like it. Let's uh, hang on to that for now. I'm done with the wrench for now. Try to pack some of this up. <laughs> I also don't need the empty shulker box. Alright, let's... Uh No, there is no rhyme or reason as to what's going where. Uh, I won't... I'm not going to put the rails or the minecart in there. 
I'll put that somewhere else up top. Uh, matter of fact, I might just leave that in there for now. And I thought I had one of these that had... There we go. I can put the bricks and the stone away for the moment. Let's go get some more bottles. The other thing you can do is you can set it up so that way the dispenser is over an item filter that just filters out the uh, the honey bottles. And I suppose I could probably do that on the more industrial one once we get enough honey bottles to make that worthwhile. Uh, I hate that this is as slow as it is, but uh, that is what I have to deal with for the moment. Because I'm gonna need I'm gonna need a bunch of honey bottles before too long. And I need to get at least one more bee going. And then once I get the honeycomb, I can start getting the nests together. And with the bees nests, I can start building up more, uh, a bigger bee population and so on and so forth. All right. Do I get you guys started? Or do I work on since I keep see I keep needing to smelt stuff. Let me let me do that next. Let's uh let's get this go. Oh. Um almost forgot. Almost almost forgot. Cub fan has a video that he did a while back on a farm that uses a lot of this basic idea except uh there's one observer and uh, and it's watching one nest and it alternates between the dispenser of shears and the dispenser of honey bottles so you could actually set this up as a single farm to get both with fewer hoppers <laughs> and uh, and uh, and end up getting both honey bottles and honeycomb in a smaller footprint than this. I think once I get the proper industrial farm set up, I may build that farm just to build it and, and to try to understand the mechanics by building. Because that, that is one of the things that uh, I have found helps me understand redstone a lot better is by just building stuff and the more you build it the more the more familiar you become with how the various components go together and all that and well that's unfortunate uh can you make glass bottles with uh stained glass nope all right <coughs> i guess that's all i got for now boxes of randomness. I'll drop those in there for the moment. I used to take to keeping a shulker box with uh, the frequently needed items, but I think I might just keep an ender chest handy. Um, I know. I'm going to keep looking at this like, come on, guys. <laughs> also, uh, with these farms, you don't need a campfire under the hive or the nest. 
you only need that if you are manually harvesting. So if you're walking around with a pair of shears in your hand and trying to harvest manually, you need the campfire. Since the dispenser is not a person, the bees have no one to be angry at, so they don't get angry when the dispenser does the harvesting. Which, I know, is all sorts of weird. Um... There we go. Now we're starting to get the the bee's knees. <laughs> All right. I'll, uh, I'll I'll start getting some more some more nests later. Or actually, I need the I need the honeycomb before I can do anything else with that. All right. Furnace room. No. Intermission, so I can grab some coffee. Oh, that's the hive. I was like, what was that popping noise? Okay, the hive. All right. Um, let me figure this area out next. But first, I need to go get some coffee. Uh, I can smell the coffee. It's brewed. Uh, my brain is all sorts of special. So let's uh, let's go to intermission real quick. Never mind, somebody was kind enough to set a cup of coffee next to me and I never noticed. Thank you. I think we were talking about my brain being, I don't know, somewhere. Who knows? Were we? I don't remember. Let's get these guys up against the wall for the moment. Um, I am definitely going to add an interior wall on this side. I just... Uh, there's going to be a wall across here. I just don't know how big I need this room. Because what I need to do is... I need to set up a dripstone lava farm... Which barrel has all the stuff? That barrel has all the stuff. Um, all right. Did I get everything? I definitely want to get this uh, storage monstrosity out of the way. So I've got, we've got the iron to do more than three, put that right there for now. We've got the iron for more than, uh, more than three cauldrons worth, and I, I wouldn't mind getting... Let's go, should we go with six? Yeah, Let, let's go with six. Let's, let's double double our, our output there. But what do I want to put in there? I, I definitely want to put... Um... some of those blocks of iron right now. So I have a funny feeling I'm going to need a fair amount of that. Alright, so I've got three cauldrons right now, so I need three more cauldrons. 
I'm gonna need three more pointed dripstone. I'm gonna need three more dripstone blocks. Um. I want to put uh, the two furnace array. I want to put the lava farm. I want to put a stone cutter since stone is going to be one of and stone products that I need to cut and shape and whatnot ought to be in there. Um, I'm probably going to want a smithing table for upgrading. What other workstations would you would you think would go into a smelting room? I think I think I may actually have a room that's uh, big enough. And then I I am going to cut another wall in on this side of the stairs, and something will go in that side. I don't know what yet. Um. Yeah, so I guess this will be all right. This will be fine. What floor do you put on? What floor are we going to put for the... Uh... One, two, three. How big's the interior? One, two, three. Four, five, six. Yeah. Looks like I could have that along one side, the furnace along the other, and I'll figure out I'll, I'll figure out something else. Yeah. We'll go with this. I'll make it work. It's not like I can't tear it down and if it doesn't. Let me get a... Uh, more torches up in here. What floor do you put down for a work area? And what walls? I think... I don't want to use stone. I want something that looks a little, a little rougher, so... So I might take some coal blocks and some raw black stone. Um, I'll use the deep slate since uh, I don't really have a good use for that. I almost want to grab some of the tuft if I could remember where. Oh, ooh. Uh, let's uh, let's put some basalt in there. So we got a little bit of gray, a little bit of black. Um, I might throw a little bit of that in. Ooh, especially since. Pretty sure. Ooh, nice. I'm pretty sure I want to put the the cauldrons in the floor like I did the last time. Um, do I want to mirror that on this side of the wall though? I'm tempted to do that. I'm tempted to to make the top part different in each room. And just leave this foundation the same everywhere you go. Because so far, I haven't built any any rooms outside of the main chamber. So the whole thing will be a foundation of tiled deep slate with some chiseled deep slate across the top. And then maybe a different a different topper depending on the depending depending on the 
on the room. I kind of like that. I think I'll go with that. I'll probably change my mind in about two minutes. Um, <laughs> I'm going to need more tile deep slate than that. Deep slate tile. Oh, why did I have... Never mind. I'm, I'm not even going to ask why. Uh, I'm probably going to need more chiseled than that as well. Hmm, and that's the other question. How am I going to work the lighting in here? Am I going to work it on the floor like before? Or, um... Yeah. Let me be lazy and fill up the corner with, uh... Some of that stone I don't know what to do with. Close your eyes, rest. I'm about to be very lazy. There we go. Of course, some of the light's going to come from the lava farm anyway. <laughs> Actually, I I won't need these uh, in the floor this time. Because I got a lot of room up. I'll think about lighting as I go. Uh, there's a corner I don't need to worry about filling in. going to be a corner. <laughs> no, nope, still going to need more chiseled. Um, and four of the polished. going to get moved out of the way once this is done. Don't worry about that. Uh, so then what do I make the walls? Alright, one thing at a time. Let's get the floor. Um, do I want to light the floor or do I want to light the walls? wouldn't mind doing both. I mean, 
I could go cook up some more glass and make the floor literal lava under <laughs> under a glass floor, but that that seems unwise. All right, let's uh, let's grab some glowstone, and I'll put that in the floor because the glowstone's got a little bit more uh, rougher appearance. And I apparently put glowstone in another box. Yeah. Oh, lava log stairs? Yeah. Hmm. You know what? I think I might push that back so that lines up so the wall is in line with the uh, with the staircase. I don't know why. No, 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 no. There there is no need to make make life that much extra complicated. That much extra complicated? No, there, no. <laughs> Alright, um, uh, oh. That needs to be... Yeah, we'll make that deep slate tile too. Alright, so there's three, six wide. Oh, there's no middle of the room. Although... Would that be enough to, to light up the area? Yeah, that might be enough. All right, we'll do that. All right, uh, I wanted basalt and blackstone and coal and deep slate. And maybe tough. Uh, I don't want to go, I don't want to use a lot of coal for decoration. So we'll just throw a couple of those around. Throw a couple of those around. Mm. That's... Maybe that'll look better when it's not next to each other. kind of weird to go from as an orderly room as the last one and then you get into this hodgepodge hot mess. I know there's no rhyme or reason. Why would you ask? Do I want to throw some cobble in here? No, I don't want to throw any cobble in here. Alright, I can't put the blackstone next to the 
coal, because that just doesn't look right. Uh, let's throw another tuft there. And some basalt there and there. And going that way. This is going to be primarily a basalt. What was that noise? I'm trying not to put two of the same block next to each other if I can help it, but uh, ah, it's looking like a lost cause. That's all of it. the black stone and deep slate and chiseled and stone oh I still need to figure out what I'm doing for the walls and I need one more chiseled deep slate to go where that's going short-term memory, something or other. One more chiseled deep slate for the corner. What am I going to do for the walls? What would go with this hodgepodge dirty mess for a wall? Something, something that looks like it's in an area where there's a lava farm and a smelter and, and all that. Hmm. Also, I'm curious. These guys have been working for a little while. Do we, uh... got four honey and 12 honeycomb nice good because I, <laughs> I I need uh, I need some honey blocks I wonder if I need to put a couple more flowers down want to do a wood type like that with some sort of blocks mixed in. Uh, I'm tempted to do the crimson planks just because it kind of keeps with the nethery theme, but I don't know. And that's a pain to farm. I might do some spruce, which I use in just about everything because 
Yeah, alright, so maybe not. Uh... And if we're being honest, I do I do want the room to look a, a little fireproof. <laughs> I could just line it with obsidian. No, um, I could do nether bricks. I could do nether bricks, and I could do some red nether brick too. Yeah, let's do the nether bricks. But that mean <laughs> that means I need to I need to go ahead and set up the uh, the furnace array and all that because I need. I need to cook up a bunch of that. Alright, so I need my furnaces, my box, my hoppers. That can go there for the moment. That can go there for the moment. That can go there for the moment. Uh, I'll figure out where the smithing table goes in a little bit. And I probably just need to make a stack of the stone cutters too. Is that just, uh, that's stone, right? <laughs> no, I'm not going to make a stack, but uh, there we go. Because I'm going to keep putting these things everywhere. E every time, every time I realize that I forgot to put some somewhere, I'm, I'm just going to make another, another one. So I might as well just. There we go. All right. So. I'm going to go ahead and center this on here. Do I want this sitting up off the floor? Or do I want to actually put this in the floor? If I put it in the floor, it's going to... Mm. And do I want to build into that wall? Probably not. Well, as long as I go no deeper than that tile, it should be okay. Um, Go get some of this another rat cooking. I can work with a little bit of that. I can work with a little bit of that. And I'll get some of this to break down for nether wart. And oh, yeah, I'm going to need another. Uh, I'm going to want a crafting table in there too. That might be it. Because um, if I got that there. And the lava is going to be there. Let's uh, let's put down a stone cutter, a crafting table, and the smithing table. Get those guys in there for the moment. It's not centered. I'm working on it. <laughs> it shouldn't matter, but it does. Wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. It's going to look off-centered with that sticking out more than that, but oh well. Uh, which means I can go like that. And I need to fill in that wall before I go too much further. Alright. Let's get those guys cooking. Let's get some red nether brick going. Let's get some nether brick and let's at least fill in this section so I can get the lava going. Um, <laughs> P 
Perfect. Uh, all right. So the drip stone is going there, which means, or the pointed drip stone's going there. That means that has to go there. Um, where are you guys dropping water? No, 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 no. <laughs> you should not be dropping water. I need some walls. What kind of walls do I want to put in there? Um, what do I have that would work? I got this polished black stone wall that I'm not using anyway. realize I need uh, to get a little bit of this wall in. Because this needs to go out. Like that. Now, what I don't know is if, uh, will that get all of those dripping lava? Or do I need to put six buckets of lava up there? I think I'll try this. Actually, no, if I'm going to do it like that, let me put it at the end. That way I know where I started. doesn't go all the way across. Alright. So I'll put one at each end. That way I know where I started. <laughs> and if I need to put more lava sources up there, I can do that. Uh, I'll get the empty ones in there. I'll hang on to those in there. Matter of fact, let's... Uh, Alright, is that got that's up to four? That's up to four, okay. Then I just need to wait for uh for the netherrack to cook. I feel like I need to put more in here. There should be something else. I'll have to figure that out in a little bit. Oh, I still need a roof, too. This roof doesn't have to be as tall as the other. Matter of fact, uh, I need to figure out where that, that line goes across. So I can set that in here. Alright, I see all of them dripping, dripping. Let's, uh, hmm. I don't know. What else do I need to put in here? Something else has got to go in here. Do I need a barrel in here for any reason? No, I don't really need a barrel in here for any reason. Alright, I'll have to think on that. In the meantime. I gotta make sure that I use uh, two. No, yeah, I need to make sure that I use stairs over that so I can lift it up. Unless I change that out for two barrels. I'll have to think on that. Yeah, if I change that out for two barrels, then I don't have to worry about doing weird stuff with the wall behind there. Do I have a second barrel? 
already made? No. Fine. Um, there we go. Storage. Storage needs to be on there. Alright, it doesn't evenly distribute stuff like I really would have wanted to, but then I now I don't have to worry about what I put on top of there. No, 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 no. I'll figure this out. Don't worry, I'll only change my mind two or three more times. Chiseled a deep slate. So I can still open that up. I hear the bees working hard. These walls seem to be working pretty well. thing I'm not seeing is any of these buckets filling up with lava. Uh, it's a slow process. I know it's a slow process. Uh, that doesn't make it any less uh, any less anxious to, you know, like, is it done yet? Is it done yet? Is it actually working? I should probably put something over the top of the lava too, just to, <laughs> just to uh, you know, make sure that uh, nothing gets tossed in there. That shouldn't be. Maybe here's where I can put my garbage disposal. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. I need to... Attempt some patience. Yeah. I'm gonna leave that iron there for the moment. Although I am gonna come back and... Because I keep needing iron... And I don't feel like running all the way down to the iron farm for it at the moment. So let's uh, let's grab some of both of those and let's let's get a couple of stacks of iron going. I mean, 
That is why I set this back up, right? Alright, 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 alright. I'll let that run. So the one under the lava source has uh, set up. Now the question is the middle ones. I should probably put an ender chest in here. That's what's missing. No. Nah. <laughs> I'm gonna have like 82 ender chests all over the all over the place. Wow, this is almost like progress happening. Huh. Who knew? I need more glass because I need the glass for that farm there. Let's uh, let's bump a half a stack of that up ahead of things because it, it always drops in from left to right unless something off to the right is already in there to fill it up. So when the netherrack is done, the glass should start and then the iron. All right, let's toss those in there for now. Um, hmm. I should probably keep uh, those guys in there. I can always I can always drop a quick lava bucket in there. Ooh. Yeah, I do need a barrel. I need a barrel for uh for fuels. So I can take all the coal and charcoal and put that in there too. Let's put that in there. Uh nope, barrel's already in my inventory. Genius. Coal and charcoal. for now. Alright, uh... Patiently waiting. No, not patiently. Uh, those guys will stay there for now. What else would go in that room? Not, not a grindstone, because there, there's not a good reason for... Oh, I already had a smithing table. Should I put a brewing stand in there? Does that make sense? Uh, maybe a campfire. Because maybe I could do like that. I mean, eventually, yeah, that'll be a temporary place. Because uh, I want to actually set up a proper brewing room at some point. Um, which means I need that other barrel. So I can start putting brewing supplies in there for now. Anything? Nope. Okay. Alright, 
while that's going, and I am impatiently waiting for that, let's uh, put the deep slate away. And let's grab some lumber. There appears to be a skeleton in my walls, too. Oh, I need a crafting table. I know I've already got like 82 of them made somewhere. Or maybe not that many yet. Give me time. Yeah, I gotta find that, uh, I gotta find that tunnel in my wall. Let's get... together so that way I can start um, reading these guys up Right. It doesn't tell you how many how many bees are in there. All right, I'll leave that in there for now. I'll leave that in there for now. Need more honey blocks. Get to it, guys. Because uh, I, in order to do the the super smelter like I want to, uh, I I need to change the way one of the mechanisms operates, and that requires honey blocks. Oh, that's right. I came up here to sleep because these guys don't the bees don't work in the night in the overworld. So uh, I slid off the bed. I feel like my character should be complaining about his back after uh, sliding off the bed onto the stone floor and sleeping the night there. That does not seem ergonomic. I know. I, I, I closed the door out of habit. Uh, these guys. These guys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I don't know how that's different from the real world, but... Oh. <laughs> Alright. Uh, I guess I need to go to the nether and get some more netherrack. I also need to figure out what I'm going to do with the roof. No, it is not on fire. And for those of you who are telling me that you're too young to remember that reference, please don't. Don't do that to me. Not today. Actually, I might, I might do the, uh, I might do the crimson, the crimson logs and the shroom lights up at the top. I'm also curious why, why the grass isn't spreading down there too. Does it not have enough light? It could not have enough light.
How, how many how many torches can we add? There we go. Alright. Hi guys. Where's the other ones? Now, in El Mango's video, he mentioned that the hives could only hold a maximum of three bees. But these guys seem to be holding more than three. So I wonder what is up with that. Ah, well. Yeah, square bees. This is Minecraft. Everything's a square. Alright guys. Buzz off. Uh, <laughs> did I make too many bees? Come on guys. Ow. <laughs> no, no square ducks. I keep thinking about reskinning the chickens into rubber duckies. I haven't gotten around to it yet. Oh, that would be kind of funny to see rubber duckies clucking like a chicken. I need netherrack, which actually I think we got a bunch of over at the community, over at the uh, castle project. I don't think anybody's going to get mad if I take a bunch of uh, netherrack. Flying in a blizzard does not seem does not seem wise. Oh. Um. Oh. Could he use that grass? <laughs> okay. What did I come here for? I came here for another wreck. Oh, yeah. No, there's plenty. Oh, yeah, that's right. Our Arcadius has been on a land clearing project for Rest. Um, so, the uh, servants' quarters and whatever else is going under here has been cleared out. I, I am... Oh, that's the... That spot's the land that goes up to the main entrance, right? Hmm, caves. <laughs> I'm gonna give you a hard time about that hole in the wall, too. Just so you know. Uh, I think Rast's estimations of how much deep slate she needs have uh, been severely under understated. I disagree. Huh? I disagree. You don't think that they've been severely understated? I think we just severely underestimated what she really meant. 
That could be fair too. I would really like more of these buckets to fill up, please. <laughs> Let's go ahead and uh, get lava sources under all those three. Four. So I put ones at the end, so that means I should be able to go there and there. precarious. <laughs> Ow! <sighs> well, isn't that a hot mess? Did, uh, how many lava sources did I put too high? All right, let's try this again. Only without the oops. Hopefully that'll get the, all of these guys not just dripping, but producing lava. Because so far, that was the only bucket to fill up. Although these guys do take a while to fill. And, alright. Even if I didn't need to do that, I know that works. So, there that is. Uh, oh, I don't need another wart for right now. Let's... Get that in there for the moment. Now what do I need? I need... A brain. I... I need... I need some dirt. I need... Ooh, I'm gonna need more hoppers. Like a lot more hoppers. Now, how big do I want to make this? This is just a, this is just a small starter deal. Because I want to have a place to breed these guys and generate some more sweet berries while I'm at it. Uh, so oh. let's do a four by four. So I will need I will need sixteen hoppers. Um, unless I already got sixteen hoppers in here, right? Fourteen. Uh, 
uh, 15, 16. I don't need that. Ex oh, no. Except I need... I'm going to need another composter, and I'm probably going to need a few more. You know what? Let, let's, just, let's just make a few more anyway. Let's grab some of the iron that's been cooking. We'll do that. That works. Uh, stare impatiently at that. Go stare impatiently at the bees. Let's get our little fox pen going. And then figure out how to lead Heckle and Jekyll over there down into the pit. Because what I want to do... No, I don't want to change the the level of that. Let's um one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Maybe I do want to do it bigger than a four by four. No. No 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 no. dirt, the sweet berry, the glass, and then heckle and jekyll. Yeah, and I'll leave that too high so that way I can do that. So we got the dirt, the sweet berry, the glass. So the dirt will be here, which means I need to go a little bit lower for the um, two, three, four. Yeah. I need to go just a little bit lower for the hoppers. Gonna be the hoppers, the dirt, the glass. No, the sweet berries, the glass. Okay. Um, one, two, three, four. I may just do that for now, because this is just a, this is just a temporary farm for now. Um. Let me go sleepy sleepy before bad things happen. Those rainstorms are how bad things happen. Or thunderstorms are other are how bad things happen. going to get some overflow going into a composter, but actually I could still do that. Yeah. Let's, uh, Let's make sure that we uh, don't overflow things.
another composter. Since I'm going to need that on both sides of the chamber there. Alright, um, let's go. goes across here. These are going to go into... Oh. I still don't have this right. Because if this hopper line is going this way, nothing is going to be pulling down. This is an ugly mess. some stairs and I need five more composters. You'll see why in a minute. Two, three, four, five. All right, I can put the lumber back. I'll leave that in there for now. I'm done with the chests. Putting the composters on top of these will help reduce lag because that way the hoppers are only checking for something over that. Uh, we'll get glass on top of that so nobody falls in. Uh, we'll get some brick. Before I do that though, I need uh is that gonna be all I need? I think that's all I need. 
Ooh, I don't have an infinite uh, water source anywhere in the base, do I? I mean, I think there's a lake somewhere, but I don't, like, as a I matter of... Huh? I have an infinite water source down in the farm uh, in my mountain base. Yeah, I just uh, looking for something, trying to keep stuff handy. Well, grab two buckets, get you a couple of them, and go put one in your base. Yeah, I have the two buckets. I'm just trying to figure out where to put it. Maybe I'll just get another temporary one set up. All these <laughs> temporary. Start your calendars on how long temporary is. It doesn't really matter which one because I'm turning by turning this to farmland. That means I don't need to worry about uh, the the farm the crop blocks or the farmland blocks are less than a full block high. So that means the hoppers underneath will pick up whatever drops. So that that makes a lot of this easier. Uh, I need. Oh, sweet berries. You know, that thing that I'm trying to plant. Uh, okay, I was going to say, I knew I had a bunch. satisfied looking job of walking around. should have that's probably not going to be enough light let me let me let, me, mm. <sighs> let there be light um going to do one side. I might as well do it across the back.
because I want a window into what's going on in here. Also going to need stairs to lead the foxen up in there. Because the idea is the sweet berries are going to grow and the hitbox of the sweet berries is just high enough that the fox can try to harvest them, uh, but he won't be able to get them all. That little bit of farmland there is... That should... That should hydrate. I would have thought it would. I mean... We can always, uh, probably overkill, but never hurt. All right, let me get a door and a door and some bricks. And then I can start working, uh, working all these guys down. slow down. It's been so oh. good too. No, 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 no. You can say no, but that doesn't change it. Well, I was flying in the end. Oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. Are you okay? Yeah, I, I, I'm coming back to the overworld now. Okay. There we go. My uh, Elytra has almost had it. I was trying to get Arcadius another Elytra because he lost both of his in the end. Uh, if you can get to those coordinates, you might still be able to uh, to recover all his stuff. I got to the coordinates and all I could find was his uh, sword, his pick... Oh, um, his crossbow and an ender chest. And that was it. I couldn't find any of his uh, gear or anything. Uh oh. Come on, little piggy. Oh, it's dark outside. Down to the basement with you. Come on. Down the stairs. Look, you can come down into this farm and hang out with the foxes, or you can be bacon. Those are your only choices in life. Alright, 
stay there until I get the others. <laughs> I heard that. Right. Somewhere I have a bunch of leads. Is there a random oak fence? Never mind. I don't want to know. No? There we go. Alright. Let's make sure that I don't hit the foxen. I only get the boat. Hey, hey, guys, don't. Mm. <sighs> For serious. Ah! Jerk. Oh, hey, I want you to go down there anyway. No, 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 don't get lost in the caves. Oh, you bum. Come on. I wanted you down here anyway. Do you have my boat? You have my boat. There we go. Give me my boat back. <laughs> I, these guys... Stairs, right there. All right. All right. Where's the other fantastic Mr. Fox? The die of fall damage off my stairs. attention. Gotcha. Oh, that was my last steak. Alright, back to baked potatoes for me. At least until I can get something better going. Come on. name you frustrating the fox. Alright, we'll put that there. Let's get the rest of our wall in. that squared away. What do you mean, poor fox? They're going to get all the sweet berries they can collect. They have company. They have infinite food. Man, they, they've already, uh, <laughs> they've already accumulated a few, a few sweet berries of there, too. Okay. Uh 
Alright, guys. Uh, Alright, so clearly some of these guys are going to the other beehives. I'm going to have to wait until the evening, or... Go ahead, go ahead, get in, get in your, uh... I haven't seen which one any of these guys are going in. Do I not have enough hives? Could that really be a problem? That could really be a problem. I could legit not have enough beehives. Block that off. Let's block that off. Let's block that off. Because I know there's going to be some guys in there. No, oh, no, you guys have already done your thing. I really wish there was something on the. Uh, menu there that showed you how many bees were in each hive. I may have to wait until the night time. I mean, I guess as long as there's somebody in there and there's somebody in there, that that's the, that's the key. Alright. So he went in there. Let's just block all those off real quick. Oh. Alright, so everybody is in a... Oh, not everybody's in a hive. Seriously, guys. You're killing me, Smalls. Alright, uh, I'll, I'll wait until... I'll wait until the night time. I need to see how many hives are full and how many... Uh, how many... Five. I need 16 total. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and make as many as we can for now. Three, five, ten. Uh, make the rest in a minute. Not in a minute, in a little bit. All right, you guys go about your thing. Go forth. For the moment. <laughs> this is a absolutely junk food. Not junk food, but a a junk food. Alright, let's, uh, alright, I don't need, I don't need that there anymore. I'll leave that there for the moment. Uh, let's get, let's toss the bricks in there for now. Let's get those in there. Let's get our boat and fence posts. Do I have any baked potatoes in here already? I do have baked potatoes. Alright, that gets that squared away. I might want to get one of those bone meal powered micro farms. As a matter of fact, I got a few I got a few small farms that I might want to do. Um 
good. Almost all the lava buckets are full. Let's, uh... So we can get, uh... More of those going. Maybe I do want a little more red. just so it doesn't go to waste. Alright, so all those guys are working now. Um, of course, I'm burning through a fair chunk of the lava, too. I would event... I'm going to leave... I'm going to leave this iron here. Because what I would like to do is have enough of a lava reserve that that chest is full of lava buckets. That way, as I get cooking jobs going, I can go ahead and, uh, and just keep them, keep them running. Uh, as I try to fill these out two at a time. I don't need that many more. This is why I need to get that industrial array going. Let me go grab uh, grab some temporary blocks. Because it is nighttime, so all the bees should be in the various hives. And I can start collecting some of these and see what uh what'll do what. So I'll put that there for now. Block these guys off. But nobody should be able to get out of any of these. Silk touch. That gets me a hive with three bees. That gets me a hive with two bees. Uh, he's only got one. Alright, so let's uh, keep that one. Keep that one. Uh, 
what about this guy? You've got three bees. Okay, so I got three in each of those. I'm pretty sure that one doesn't. Yeah, that's only got one. So we'll get him back here. And, uh, and we'll get some of these empty empty hives out. I just realized that was not the smartest move. I want 16 total with at least three bees in each. So I got the two. And those will go. I just realized the flaw in that plan. That'll have to be it for now. those up later. These guys are, man, these guys are really going at it. Okay. <clears throat> I also think I, I finally uh, I hit the end. Well, that's not a bad, that's not bad for, that's not bad for a stream. I got a couple of small temporary farms going. Uh, I didn't put a lot of design into it because the, these aren't going to stay here forever. I just need to get these guys going, creating sweet berries so I can breed up the foxes and get more. I want to name tag the originals because there is a difference between tamed foxes and wild foxes in the way that they behave. Uh, so I want to tag those so that way I know that they are the originals. And then I'll start breeding them up to get more, more foxes for a larger version of this uh, later. Once I get all the beehives together for the big farm, I'm going to tear this down. And I'll set up the large scale farm either in the nether or uh, the overworld. Um takes forever. Um, depending on if we set up a, a nether, um, another hub of some sort, I'll, I might set it up in the nether or if, uh, if we, uh, run through our dragon stuff, I might set it up in the end. Although, the nether's closer. I don't I don't want to have to work that hard to go get stuff. So that that might that might just end up being uh I just realized I don't where did my other honey block go? somewhere. Oh, there it is. Yikes. <laughs> so we got those two small farms going. We got this room together. So we got our smelting array back. Oh, our micro smelter back. We got our lava for our fuel source going. We're getting all the nether bricks. Once 
once I get the honey blocks together, I won't need to worry about, uh, just need a roof. I'll think about that. Um, yeah, that's what I was worried about. Although, I should be able to finish those. And then I can start working on uh, on that. I'll need to set up a room off to the side. Um, oh, oh! Before I forget, once uh, once I get the large scale bee farm set up, I'm probably going to build somewhere down here a more permanent honeycomb uh, honey bottle farm. That will be the one that Cub Fan did, where it's uh, one hive that produces both drops. Because uh, uh, I don't, I don't need that big a setup, and I, I just want to do. I, I would like to do that so that way I can learn, learn how that works. I feel like I'm forgetting something. There was something else I was gonna do. I came up here for a reason. Let me sleep on it, and, uh, act there. yeah, given the hour, given the hour, I probably ought to, uh, I probably ought to call it a night. I'm even more absent, absent-minded than normal. I still need, I might need to go get, <laughs> I might need to go to the nether and get enough, uh, wither skulls, because I got a lot of stuff to dig out here. I want a larger room, uh, for reasons, and... I'm thinking that's going to be a lot easier to dig out if uh, if I can get a beacon going. And I actually wouldn't mind setting up a beacon in the base somewhere. Just to have a, a permanent, uh, permanent haste or health or something like that. Hmm. Hmm. I'll have to think about that. Alright. Let's, uh... I mean, those were the big things that I wanted to get done. I wanted to get those two micro farms, and the furnace was a nice bonus. Well, I guess this is a new enough day that I can at least... Oh, oh guys. Y'all ran into the hives. Moyang, add, uh, add something on the F3 level that, that shows us uh, <laughs> how many bees are in the hive. something that would be so useful all right I'll get back to those guys later so that's gonna be one of my off-camera duties and after I tag those guys uh, we got to get a couple of librarians leveled up enough that they sell name tags I think we I think we might have a couple I need to I need to get cranking on getting emeralds though because uh, I definitely want to get a couple more, a couple more enchants on some gear. I need to sort out that hot mess and, and get my ender chest squared away because we got furnace bits and a coral, a random coral box, and uh, my unfinished project. Oh, because I still got to get the sugarcane stuff finished. But medic's working on the slime farm, and ooh. let's check in with medic before we call it a night. Actually, I'm not down there right now, but you can certainly go check it out. Making uh, progress of a sort. Yeah, yeah. I'm, uh, I had to. I had to kind of add the golems to it because the slime weren't pathing. Uh, the kill area they just kind of wandered around in circles and then disappeared oh and then disappeared yep well that's weird yeah so it was just a matter of adding some golems and we started getting a little bit i i need to rework the way the water path works too because there's a certain section right in the middle where they like to hover and they don't die. Oh. 
And I also have to open it up all the way up to the sky so yeah. we get better spawn rates. Yeah. Where's the uh where's the stuff? The drops, the uh check the chests that are it's in the in the little room that I set up the AFK at. Um, check the chest and then whenever you first walk in, if you're looking at the chest on the right hand side at the top, I have a, uh, um, a choker box there that I put everything in as I was trying to figure out what was going on. What the drops. Yeah. Uh, where is this room? AFK room? All the way down at the bottom where, where the, uh, farm is. Oh. oh, okay. You said down where the farm is, so I thought, like, down here. No, 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 no. Because I just came uh, down to this there. level. No, go all the way down the stairs. Need to get some uh, frost walker on a set of boots too. Top right. That would be the top left. Alright, you mind if I pill for all this so I can get ready for uh, for more of the sugarcane farm? Take every bit of it. Now, while you're staring, sitting there staring at the uh, at the chest. Mm-hmm. I'm kind of watching you. Okay, now, look right. Look right. There you go. Shulker box. Oh. Ah, nice. Take, right. take everything you need, because I'm going to be working on it tomorrow, so I'll be getting more. All right, I'm not sure how much I'm going to need, so I'll go with that for the moment. Because um, tomorrow, I'm definitely going to work on finishing up the sugarcane farm. Is that the other, uh, that the other one? The other chunk? Uh, I don't know. I, no, it's not because, oh, okay. um, um, they keep popping out in other places, so that's not the other chunk. Okay. Nice. This is going to be awesome yep. when it's finished. Yeah, all of the uh, all of the water elevators all lead up to the one or the one stream that runs across where you uh, come down the stairs at into that own room. So everything is collected in that one room. Nice. And there's a skeleton spawner that's like right by the uh where the iron golems are oh huh nice work oh hello friends we were uh just talking about you because this is probably what the spot right above that chunk this is this is probably part of the problem right here. Some of these guys are spawning up here, taking up the cap. Yeah, I'm going to be uh, marking that chunk and digging it out as well and turning it into a farm. Try to get some other farms that uh, don't... Uh... Oh, no slime heads. Okay. 
Oh, I still need to. I still need to figure out what I'm going to do for the dining room floor too. That was uh, that was one of my other tasks. That might be that might be Tuesday's project. I'll work on uh, I'll work on coming up with a design and put that together Tuesday. Oh, well, I almost want to raise the roof on that a little bit too, so you can fly down the stairs. Floor, aren't I? Uh, the privy, right? The chapel? The growly wool? Alright, this is my this is my space for the dining room. Maybe I should try to do a miniature of the coffee craft logo on the floor. <laughs> I wonder if I can yeah I'm, you know that might be that might be an idea that might be an idea I guess we don't need my little uh, AFK spot down there either now that we got the glass up here all right let me uh, let me they're not that damaged, but I might as well fix them up already. All right, let's uh, let's hit the credits. Let's call it a night. And to the dulcet tones of skeletons falling, uh, thank you for joining along. I hope you had fun every Tuesday at six. Th Sorry, this is uh, options music. Bloop. Okay, <laughs> let's try that again. Thank you for joining along. I hope you had fun. Tuesdays, 6.30 p.m. U.S. Eastern, or at least 6.30 adjacent. Uh, we go live on the CoffeeCraft server. We try to get as many uh, of us together as we can. A lot of fun. That's a guarantee every Tuesday. Fridays is a little up in the air right now. Uh, it's been some extra coffee craft, but I do, I do, I will get... Um, Games Revisited going again so I can finish up the Zelda series and then start the next one. Uh, got a couple options for what game's coming next on that. And and then uh, I might start doing some guitar stuff on the weekend. I don't know. I've got one more kit already in my possession that I would like to put together. It's going to be a Les Paul kit for me. And then I will probably sell my Gibson Les Paul because as Everybody should have more than one Les Paul. I, I don't have the space to have that kind of collection right now. So, uh, and I I would like to keep, uh, I would like guitars that I built. For good reason. No, oh, for reasons. All right. And uh, let's go see who is available to raid. And it looks like Grimly is playing Lost Ark. So let's go say hello to him. Stick around when I hit the title card. And I will see you next time. Stay for the raid. <laughs>